Hello and welcome to the advent of Cyber Challenge and today is day 3 where we are going to be learning about brute forcing, the different type of, types of pins and how you can approach brute forcing for passwords or pins. So without wasting time, let's jump in. Alright, so coming in here, you will notice that uh, it's day 3 and shout out to Infosec Pat. He, he actually went ahead and led us today. Here they said our objective is to learn about password complexity and why that is important and also what are the possible combinations just in case you put your easy password out there for us we're going to be learning how to use a tool called crunch and crunch allows us to generate random numbers so let's say for example in our case here if the pin for our website was three digits we can use crunch to say hey can you generate three digits minimum and also maximum of three digits so like really generate three digits and use these characters here to generate that list and then from that list from crunch we can start brute forcing so that's how we will be doing it okay so let's go ahead and actually try this website if you have not done so start the virtual machine that's one thing that i didn't mention and once you start it you can visit this using the attack box or in this case i'm connected to try me using the vpn and when i come in my browser after connecting to the vpn i can see that they are asking for a pin the problem is we don't know what the pin is and that's what this task is all about we need to break in so first they actually did the same thing and if we look in the page source we know notice that name is goes to pin let's actually verify that all right so name is goes to pin it's exactly what they are showing there so that's good so in that case we can use crunch and hydra uh, with hydra syntax we're saying hey hydra we need to give it a list of the pins that we'd have generated using crunch give it the ip address that we're going after and say, send it them a post and the pin as a password we want to exclude anything that says access denied and the s here indicates that the port number that the target is on in this case is port 8000 so we actually have everything that we need here we just need to use crunch to generate a list of passwords all right so i'm just going to use that uh, let's three digit all right there they are i wonder how many they are in there cat three digit pipe it to wc wc dash l all right so we only have four four thousand and ninety six possibilities now let's use hydra and like for us they already told us the syntax in this case this was our website I think I can reuse this here. We already went through the syntax. Okay, so after a while, we notice that we get a positive hit, 6F5. So that means that this is our pin for the site. So Hydra went and was trying every single one that we had in our list until it found a match. Come here, type 6 f5 and continue and we're in so that was straightforward we can unlock the door test the backup power reset pin let's unlock the door and we get our code all right so that was the pin so the moral of the story is if you're going to have pins make sure that you are, you know you have longer pins if you're going to have password longer passwords and if you don't want to be brute forced Maybe do things like rate limiting. Make sure that you know you're keeping track of the request. If there's random successions within milliseconds, you can rate limit and block IP addresses and things like that. So this was a nice, quick way to learn about brute forcing. If you like this stuff, please remember to like, subscribe, and share my videos with everybody. Otherwise, thanks for being here, and I hope to see you next time.